Well, good evening, everyone. Meteorologist Michael Wilhite here, WilhiteWX.com, with your latest video forecast update. We've got, uh, try to be a quicker one here tonight. I've got a lot going on, but we've got some wet, wet weather coming up here for lower Ohio Valley. You can always find more at WilhiteWX.com. Let's dive into the data right away here. Here we are recording this. It's about 6.30 central time here on Tuesday, February the 13th. It's a day before Valentine's Day. It looks like it could be a soggy day around the lower Ohio Valley here. You see uh, some rain starting to develop here, down uh, way down here uh, into our south, and that's all going to be moving up this way, and uh, that, that's going to eventually overspread the area and uh, cause us a little bit of uh, problems here as we go through. In fact, some flood-prone areas. Well, uh, I know that many of you watching down uh, in Kentucky, for example, had uh, just a ridiculous amount of rain uh, come to you just a few days ago, and unfortunately, it looked like more is on the way. Let me time this out for you just really quickly. Here's the high-res future radar here. So I put this into motion. Really not much going on overnight, maybe just a tiny uh, shower or two, but really uh, it's not until you get late into the overnight hours here, uh, right before sunrise, that you start to see some showers breaking out down here close towards Paducah. And as you see by 7 a.m. Uh, Eastern time here, they're starting to move into Indiana and overtake the area. And, uh, as you as I go through this future radar, you see it's really spotty. It's not like it's a solid shield of rain moving to us. Uh, but there will be definitely some showers around here. And as that moves out of the way, it kind of uh, tapers off a little bit uh, on Wednesday night before you get possibly some more moving in Wednesday night, another wave of it. Then you dry out possibly for Thursday uh, morning. And then watch this. You've got more coming in uh, during the evening hours. And it looks like it could be. This is as far as the high res radar goes. Uh, by the time you get into Thursday night into Friday, you could get into a, a heavier line of showers as this moves in. Let me switch over here to the GFS, so it'll take it out a little bit further. So here you go tomorrow morning, uh, overnight tonight. There's those showers moving in late overnight, early tomorrow morning. This goes through the area, and again, you know, the GFS broad brushes this, and so the high-res data gives you a little bit more of an accurate picture. Uh, but you get the general idea here that uh, you'll have wave after wave of this coming through. It's not going to be heavy all the time. But it'll, it'll mount up over time. And then as you come into Thursday night into Friday morning, that's where you notice the cold fronts moving through. And there could be some heavy rain with this as it moves through. The GFS is actually trying to pop some light snow showers on the back side of this. This would be 1 p.m. Eastern time on Friday as that's moving through. I'm a little skeptical of that. Uh, you know, even if it, uh, even if it did develop, it's nothing that's really going to stick out of this. It's going to just be too warm. Might be some festive flakes on the backside. That's about it. And I'm not convinced that that's going to happen. Either way, as you go forward beyond that, you, uh, you go forward into early next week and there you have some. By the way, uh, this has some on Saturday and you notice on Saturday it stays just to our south. I'll show you the euro in just a minute and it actually brings it into the area. So there's some discrepancies for Saturday. But either way, as you go forward in time, here you are on Tuesday, Monday night into Tuesday with more potentially heavy rain there on Monday and Tuesday. Here it's raining on Wednesday with some potentially heavy rain on Thursday. There's more heavy rain possible there. Here we are into overnight Thursday and into Friday, and you've got more heavy rain possible on Friday. And it's just a, a deluge uh, of just wave after wave of stuff as you go through. And it's pretty much the same for the Euro. They're in, you know, they don't have the timing and the exact amounts right, but the idea of these multiple waves coming through is there. As you go throughout the day, tomorrow, there you come, 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, there's the rain moving through. This is the Euro that I'm showing you now. And again, you see it's just multiple waves. And by the time you get into Friday morning, that's where it's a little slower than the GFS, but there's some heavy rain for you. It does not pop snow on the backside of the system like the GFS does. But uh, you saw in the GFS that the rain on Saturday stayed to our south. And uh, no, on the Euro, it actually brings it to the north. It actually wants to bring some snow in with this, which I'm very, very skeptical of. I'm, I'm, I'm just really down. Uh, that uh, I'll believe that whenever I see it but we'll have to watch this for Saturday as to whether we get any precipitation or not that's a little bit lower confidence but Wednesday Thursday and Friday look like a pretty good chance of some precipitation and then as you go forward in time on the euro here's uh, Monday and Tuesday next week and then we're on to Wednesday of next week now we're on to Thursday of next week, and you get the idea, good grief, just a rain event after rain event. How much could we end up getting out of this? Well, this says the GFS through this weekend, which is suggesting around an inch plus around the area. And again, 
Folks down here in Kentucky uh, certainly don't need that. Some portions of Kentucky down in here really got hammered with some heavy rain and some flooding uh, just a few days ago out of that. And so it's more insult to injury. But, you know, many of us here in Indiana could actually uh, use a little bit of this rain. It is starting to get dry as you look at the, you know, if we just uh, go over to my website, willheightwx.com, uh, I can show you the drought monitor. Uh, if we go under the AgWX tab, you can click on drought monitor here. And, uh, and here's your latest drought monitor. Uh, and you can see the drought outlook. And as we zoom in a little bit closer to the Ohio Valley here, well, you can actually see there are some portions of Indiana into southern Illinois and back into Missouri that are starting to get dry, that are starting to get on that abnormally dry. And so that's not a good trend. So we could actually use a little bit of rain here in Indiana to uh, reverse this trend. That would certainly be a blessing. So it starts there. And then as you go forward in time, you'll see more. Let me show you that in a second. Let me just show you really quickly the euro. And in general agreement here as well, this encounters a little bit more rain on uh, Saturday. And so this has about uh, a one to two inch swath over the entire uh, southern Indiana and Kentucky, southern Illinois area here uh, for that as well. Uh, so not all that far off, a little bit more, but it does have rain on Saturday, whereas the GFS doesn't. But again, within the ballpark of each other. And then as I put the GF, the euro here rather, Forward in time, just just look at the rain totals next week. Just really start to mount up. By the end of the period here, you're talking about five and six inch rain totals here in, into the Browns and ridiculous totals. And uh, that's also pretty consistent with what the GFS is saying. The GFS is actually suggesting uh, that you could have just a little bit more on uh, this uh, as well. So, you know, bottom line, it's going to be heavy uh, any way you cut it. It's also going to be on the mild side. We've got a couple of cooler days coming to us this weekend as that front moves through, but then we rebound nicely. So we, we're on a nice warming trend. Tomorrow we warm up to the mid to upper 50s. Look at this. We could approach 70 possible in some areas. Mid 60s certainly possible on Thursday. Then we would drop back down to near 40 degrees uh, over the weekend. But watch this. Then we just, you know, we bounce right up nice. And then look at next week where we're talking. We could potentially be in the upper 60s to low 70s as a result of this. And the ensemble data is a little bit cooler with this, but still a very nice warming trend overall on the ensemble data. So we've got a nice warm and uh, wetter period uh, certainly coming up. You can find more details on this on the website at willheightwx.com. That is it for this update, folks. I'll have more as the event unfolds. I'm meteorologist Michael Wilhite, willheightwx.com. Have a great night.